hey, we're in the editing room doing my movie, but like, a lot of people know that I'm a big wrestling fan, I get a lot of, like, do a pitch of, like, a wrestling storyline, if you could do anything, uh, wrestling storyline, what would you do? And I thought it would be fun, if you like me, and if you like wrestling, just to do a short, how I would book the Raw after Tables, Oblers, and Chairs, because Raw's been sort of hit or miss recently, um, very hit in some ways. The authority angle is very well acted, but you know, they've completely dropped Daniel Bryan from the main event in a way that's shameful. We have a terrible main event with uh, boring Randy Orton, rather than fun Randy Orton. It's all been pretty dark, and now we're back to John Cena and Randy Orton. Here's what I would do. I would have Stephanie McMahon uh, and Triple H. I'd have Orton win the title unification. Stephanie McMahon and Triple H come out uh, at the end of Raw for the celebration of the new era in the WWE, the authority era. And they bring out all the champions. AJ and Tamina are in the ring. The Shield's in the ring because of Dean Ambrose. You've got Biggie Langston in the ring, uh, still Intercontinental Champion. And then, uh, you know, they go to call out the roads. And of course Orton's there, and Kane's there. And Cody cuts a promo basically saying, we don't accept or want to be part of your era. You fucked us, we remember. Stephanie basically says, Cody, calm down. You know, it's all family now. The roads are like, fuck you, we're leaving. Boom, Wyatt's from behind. Wreck them, throw them off the stage. The Wyatts start to come back down to the ring. Triple H and Stephanie, of course, admit that they've been behind the Wyatt attacks uh, because the Wyatts, you know, the values are in the right place. WWE is a family company. The Wyatts are about family. Big E gets on a mic, says like, hey, you know, in his very Big E way, what just happened was messed up. I'm bailing, I don't support this. RKO! Biggie is down. <laughs> Stephanie is like, does anyone else have input on what's happening? And AJ actually does. AJ drops a typically great AJ pipe bomb promo. That girl can talk. Uh, about everything that's happening has been messed up. Daniel Bryan's out of the main event. All the divas focus is on total divas. This is a mess. You are fascist. Stephanie's response to that is, okay, okay, good, you know, very interesting, very interesting. Shield, wreck her, and the shield immediately moves in and corners her and Tamina in a corner, and of course Tamina's like, ready to fight them, which is great, because you know the crowd would be like, oh my god, you know, freaking out at this point. And she's cowering, and the shield has a conversation amongst themselves and goes, no, we're not doing this. And you know, they talk to each other. Ambrose goes to Stephanie. We're not doing this. And Stephanie slaps him in the face. And of course, you know, when Stephanie slapped Big Show, she was slapping sad Big Show. You don't slap Dean Ambrose. Immediately, both members of the Shield have to hold him back. Triple H gets in his face. As soon as Stephanie backs up, Tamina, oh, big boot to Stephanie. She's done. She's out cold. Triple H turns, goes to attack Tamina, fucking spear Roman Reigns. Triple H is down. The audience is, of course, Going insane, the Wyatts rush the ring. Daniel Bryan's out. Need a Bray Wyatt. Need a Luke Harper. Anarchy in and around the ring. Orton drops his title. They flee up the ramp. All of the main heels in the company, as you have AJ, Biggie Langston, Daniel Bryan, and The Shield, basically the real future. Once John Cena's body finally just falls apart, the real future of the WWE is in the ring. The title was dropped. Daniel Bryan picks up the title. The audience is going ape shit. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and that's how you turn the shield face and bring Brian back into the title picture. I hope that was fun.